<laughs> wow, I, I was chubbier back then. This is like during my PUBG days when I, I, we got flown in to play for the, uh, was it round one finals? North America finals for uh, PMSC. Yeah. <laughs> So this guy in the middle, his name is Karma Babe, one of the most toxic people I've ever met, but whenever I play with him, it is hilarious. Like, and this was like the, the first squad that I really found and played with, and it was always so much fun playing with them. Like, just laughing and just will die for the stupidest reasons. Rule number one, do not let him drive, because you will, you will guarantee die, okay? To give you an example, one time he's like, Hey, let's get in the boat. Ten seconds later, we blow up. <laughs> god. Another time, um, this is the most infamous, okay? Oh my god. We, for some reason, for some reason, so we're under looted. No, it's, he has a, he has a freaking like, arm, okay? He has like the most powerful sniper in the game. And we're like making towards the final circle, okay? Final circle or something. And we're stuck between two squads or like fighting, okay? And we're out in the open, no cover. We don't even have trees, we just have a freaking bush, okay? But these two squads, they haven't noticed us. And I'm like, okay, let's just let's just let them kill themselves, and then like when the circle changes, we'll move. Karma had the brilliant freaking like <sighs> Karma had the brilliant fuck, like freaking idea of, hey, I see this guy's foot. I'm gonna take the shot. He takes the shot. He misses a guy's foot, and now all of a sudden we're getting like shot at for like four squads because we're out in the open. Like, and this is when we're grinding rank. Oh my god, his the decisions he makes. It's like, it's it's, it's funny in hindsight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, the trooper. He literally said, he literally said, oh, I see this guy's foot. They were in the compound. Like, why did he. And why do we keep on giving him the sniper? Why do we keep on giving it to him? I don't know. So, yeah, anyway, I thoroughly enjoy playing with him and I would love to keep on playing. Yeah. So there's uh those were like my, my funnest games. Uh we, it was also the first uh, first team I played with uh in a against pro players when we went, went up against the number one team at the time, Gang Stars, and we beat them. Uh, there's a YouTube clip of that. I just could not believe that we just came out of nowhere and just beat the number one North American team. Okay? Like we didn't we didn't know about these guys. We just thought we just knew that they were at the top of their leaderboards, their KD was ridiculous, and they were gods, okay? Everyone thought, said they were gods, and we somehow freaking beat them. And Karma made that possible. It was uh, me, Karma, um, Brian, and Trooper. Yeah, so that was my that was my first like taste of like competitive play. So he's like, yeah, he's like the reason why I got into competitive play. <laughs> oh, I mean, this is gonna be sad. For, like, well, yeah. It's gonna be both heartwarming and sad. Chat, why this is sad is the guy behind me, Clay, he died last year. Well, he, no, this year, he passed away this year. And he was very loved in the community. So that, that, that's that story to it. So this is very, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And this is when they're like interviewing us. This, so this guy right here, this big, muscly, like, um, Power lifter dude, he's like six foot ten or something. Power bang. Who is Power Bang? Only the best content creator in PUBG. So at the time, like search anything PUBG Mobile. Yeah, it's uh, he made the best videos. He still makes the best videos. Yeah, he's a god. <laughs> so uh, he got to he was one of the casters for that tournament. So he's just interviewing us. I, I go up with my dorky finger guns because why not? Add some pizzazz. I was playing for uh, Zen Li Gaming. We all know the history of Zen Li. So I was ZG Derpy. <laughs> That's how I got my my username. I made it in PUBG because I wanted something like opposite of like Alpha. On another note, oh, okay, one, okay, one more thing to notice about this. This is like this is at the studio. So when they fly you in as a pro player, 
Oh, they have a nice set. Okay, this is a nice, nice set and like these large screens. You do dress rehearsals. Um, like two days before the event, like they tell you like what time you're gonna get on. Like they do like the mock interviews, things like that. And then the third day, like the real day is like when you do everything. So yeah, that's why they always uh, fly in like pro players for like, I don't know, a week before and stuff. It's very high production value. Okay, so what was I gonna say? Mm. Genshin Impact. 